Looks like they've got air in it, and it's doing what they need it to do. Meanwhile, Himmel and Lightfoot are both battling very, very light air. Looks like Lightfoot is going up with their spin. And the waves from the powerboat has definitely not helped in this light air situation. So, looking at the fleet, Merlin definitely has a, uh, a jump on everybody. Nope, sorry about that. I gotta find the boats again. And it appears at this point that the race committee, apologize for jumping all over the place with this, it appears that race committee headed down to B and looks like they might be shortening the course. need to do is get set up and of course if they go by Merlin at that speed that's really gonna make a mess for Merlin Doesn't look like that is the race committee vote as far as we can tell. and back to the race course. Sorry for the shakiness, I'm going to blame it all on these massive waves shaking the pier. That's what I'm going to go with. All 
right, there's the uh, B mark. Looks like Quintet with their spinnaker has been able to claw back some uh, some time on Himmel. And light foot behind them with their spinnaker full. Fiona and Tango too. Again, it does look like the race committee has decided to shorten the course. B mark is out there. I think it's just being covered by uh, if we can locate it. I think it's being covered by Quintet right now. One of the faster sailboats on the course just going by.
Looks like Quintet decided to abandon their spinnaker from this angle. Merlin well out in front of Quintet headed to uh, finish market B. Well concealed behind Quintet. See if I can steady this thing for a change. All six boats out there packed fairly tightly. Good to see that on a night with such light air. Head back down, see if we can pick up the uh, pin. No longer able to locate it. Don't know if it's due to light conditions. Oops, 